In today's SpaceX update, we're actually going to start by talking about Blue Origin because they attempted to launch their first mission in 15 months today, but unfortunately, they had to scrub. The original time for liftoff had to be delayed due to cold weather, and then after about a 20-minute delay, Blue Origin shared that they're scrubbing NS-24 due to a ground system issue that the team is troubleshooting, so they will provide a new launch target for this week soon. And let me tell you a little bit more why this is significant. New Shepard is a reusable rocket capsule combo that flies people and payloads to suborbital space, but we haven't seen this vehicle fly since September 12th of 2022 when it suffered an anomaly during an uncrewed research flight. We're going to throttle back and then continue on up to space. Many of you probably remember this video. The failure resulted in the loss of New Shepard's first stage booster, though the capsule landed safely under parachutes and the 36 research payloads survived intact. However, this issue has grounded them for over a year. The NS-24 mission will be the 24th overall liftoff for New Shepard and it is uncrewed. It will be carrying 33 research payloads with more than half of them developed and flown with support from NASA. So we will wait for another launch date, which they have not announced yet. But let's get back to SpaceX, what we know and love, and the mission and goal of going to Mars. John Ehrlichman shared a photo on X saying, on this day in 1903, the Wright Brothers airplane flies for the first time. Elon replied saying, only 66 years from first flight to landing on the moon, but now half a century has passed since the last moon landing. That cannot be our high water mark as a civilization. Humanity should have a moon base, cities on Mars, and be out there among the stars which is exactly what they're trying to do with the Starship program down in Boca Chica, Texas. In fact, they recently added the new sign, Gateway to Mars, down at Starbase. And also, Booster 10 has rolled out to the launch site one month after Starship's second flight. Keep in mind, Booster 9 rolled out to the launch site three months after Starship's first flight. So they are speeding things up and expediting the process. We know that SpaceX wanted to try to have a launch in December. There's definitely activity going on down there. I'm still skeptical if we'll actually see a launch in December, but I think January could be very likely. And SpaceX is still on their way to hit 100 launches for 2023. We have just about two weeks left in the year to meet that goal. As of yesterday, SpaceX had 93 launches so far this year. 87 Falcon 9s, 4 Falcon Heavies, and 2 Starships. Which, keep in mind, they've already far surpassed their record last year of 61 total launches. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do you think that SpaceX will actually reach 100 launches for the year 2023? I think they have a very good shot. And hey, if you're a fan of Starship, this might make a great last minute Christmas gift. This is a 3D printed venting Starship model for your desk, for your office, for your child, whatever you want it to be. In fact, this is a great gift for a child because you have to assemble this. And so it's really fun to assemble it, watch it vent for the first time. It's actually a humidifier and it looks pretty realistic to me. So if you guys are interested in ordering one of these, I have the link in the comments. It helps support my channel as well, full disclosure. But I have really enjoyed having this model on my desk. I get a lot of stuff sent to me and this one is so interactive that it really does stand out. So there's an idea for a Christmas or a holiday gift. I hope that you guys are doing well and enjoy these daily updates and I'll see you tomorrow.